<coughs> so, uh, but Vodro isn't actually out of the tournament just yet, just so you know. Uh, he's going to the lower bracket. Um, and Melty will go up and face Maddox. Uh, I think that will be Ooh. our next... Uh, Another relatively new uh, appearance. Like I said, it's not his first tournament, but it's definitely the first time we're going to see him play. Mm -hmm. so, um, so that Nemesis versus EBG, that's something else that I kind of wish we could cast, but... Uh, you know what? Yeah, they, they've already started a while ago, so... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to catch up on that later, maybe, question mark. Um, so our first map is going to be Cyber Forest. Haven't seen we haven't seen Repug yet today, man. R Repug, the hug of the Repug. Repug. It's a, it's the kind of hug where you, where you end up losing like four drones. Okay, uh, Cyber Forest is going to be our first map. Uh, actually, I haven't really looked at the map, the new maps yet. To be fair, I heard there's like Ewoks hidden somewhere in here, like we had in uh, what was the yeah, uh, railway top, map, uh, the uh, the one you liked with the gold. Uh, East watch by, by the sea. Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> we have a group on every server except for China because of Chop Suey. God damn that song. Because I, 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 can I log into China? I don't think I can log into China, so... You need like, yeah, you need like a special, uh, what's it called, version of the game to log into China. A specific version. Um, mm-hmm. Alright everyone, welcome to Cyber Forest, L-E. L-E, of By the sea. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was just thinking, well, what would be the joke for Cyber Forest? And I'm, while I'm talking, I'm thinking, this is <laughs> by the sea. <laughs> uh, LE stands for uh, Lover Engagement. Lover Engagement. That's when That's you ask someone to marry you because you love them. Lover Engagement. Uh, it's, yeah, when the Reaper hugs. A drone. No, that's abusive. That's an abusive relationship. Let's not go there. This, this, that's hot. This, no, no, it's not. In the southeast, representing Sidestone community, it is our yellow Zerg, Melody. And in the northwest, we're missing the mini map. Uh, ooh, our blue terran is Maddox, getting proxy hash yeah. right here. Is this actually oh, bliss for eh, we're seeing? Eh, eh. What what happened to my it, keys? Yes, what, he's not doing anything. What happened to my keys? All right, pull turns around. Okay. Probably gonna see a bunker getting built very soon. Uh, yep. Pulling the boys. Oh no, he thinks it's like a cannon rush. It's not. Atreus, too much health! Mmm... Yeah. Sorry, my, my uh... It's just I, a little, it's a little bit too late! No, Maddox! I don't have my mouse settings here on the, on the care server. So yeah. I, I, I can't, I can't do mouse, uh... Mouse scroll, I have to do the, uh, the old... This hatchery might go up, but at the very most what will happen is probably just Brutelings come in, but you're still losing a ton of mining time. You're still probably going to lose one or two SCVs to the Brutelings itself. And a Zergling! Two Zerglings are going to pop up before... because a lot of us already there. Yeah, the Queen is not going to come out though. Maddox has not thrown, but I just don't really like this choice. The Reaper is giving you the, on the run around. Uh, Maddox is going to lose three, four, four SCVs. He was shooting his own SCV. Oh, target oh, firing no. wide. No, 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 he was, no, he was shooting the uh, alarm. Yeah. Instead of the. It just looked like the Zerglings that were clicking like stuff. Right, now Link Team 6 is up. The bunker is just about gonna get down. Yep, but there's nothing to wall up yep, in the main. Get, get, get in the bunker, the Reaper. What are you doing? You can tell me what to do, you know my real dad! 
I'm, I want to hug the, the circlings. <laughs> okay, so Maddox has actually not the not the worst response in the world. Not the one that I would have chosen, but that's probably why it wasn't so bad because it was not the one that I'd have chosen. Okay, so we have. Uh, damn it! My instincts are to use the uh, mouse thingy. <sighs> so frustrating when your interface changes. Um. Okay, so Maddox is not going to get too much done out on the map. Melty is still threatening pretty hard. Uh, oh, sorry, he's gonna strategy, see the paintings so. though. Uh, this might just be a bit too much. The Banshee yeah. will probably get out by the time he's in the main, but what's one Banshee gonna do? Yeah, that's not Blisk we're seeing, that's Melty. And I, know we, I know we all miss Blisk, but this is Melty we're talking about. Melty is if Blisk and Quirky were molded into two. Uh, nice. Oh, supply capping Maddox. Yeah. The right, so are just move. Free to move in there. Come in. The wall is <laughs> not complete yet. Oh, he doesn't get to deny the wall. That is not a wall, actually. No, because yeah. he, yeah, the reactor got killed. One Banshee is not going to do much. Supply depot already falls. His links are gonna try to get even more SCV kills up here. One already goes down, three, four. And there's yeah. a bunch of them are still alive. Yep. That's a good Just keep munching on SCVs here. Now there's a Five. response. Yep. Have and now they're a... really low. A follow up will. Oh, not a cancel on that. Mm -hmm. Melty just. Picking Maddox apart right now. Yeah, uh, Maddox is just trying to move with the uh, bench across the map, but it's not like he's doing enough when damage. Remember Melty said that he really likes going aggressive until his opponents hold? Yep, GG is called. Melty could take game number one. Um, right, Port Alexander. It's our next map. Alexander. Mm -hmm. Welcome down to Alexander's Porterhouse. Alexanderport. Hey, look, Linux and Holy Moly. Uh, Let's who? get him to observe. Linux. Oh. Mm. How, how would his casting be? It, it doesn't speak uh, very, in English very well at all. It would probably be in Korean. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's real cool. Yeah, about a cool little correlation mm -hmm. in Korea. You can tell which pro gamers left school early to pursue pro gaming and which pro gamers stayed for in school for a couple more years based on how well they understand English. Like, um, I don't. Know, it could be. I don't know. What what like age? Do you, uh, you, hmm? at what I think age you need you to learn English in Korea. Uh, I'm not sure, but you do get taught a little bit of it, if I'm not wrong. Because here we start at like fourth grade or something. So I don't know. Good luck with wow. in defense. In defense. <laughs> what, is what? what is Melty planning here? Alright everyone. Mm. Welcome to Port Alexander, where battle courses become operational. Uh, I was told that Did Blisk was... tell you that, Melty? Did Blisk tell you that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blisk always proxies. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't say anything else. Like Hey Blisk, how are you? Proxy Hatch! Do, do, do you wanna maybe drink a cup of tea? Proxy Hatch! Do, do you wanna... you want some snacks? No, 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 I want, I want a Proxy Hatch. Well... Well... I'm guessing we had a little bit of a disconnect issue. Uh, yeah, that looks weird. See, even here? Yep, he's not in... Yep, it's not online. Right. Yep, light yeah. is confirming. Maddox got drop kicked. Drop kicked? From the server. Mm. So, gonna have a bit of relog. Yeah. 
game the game so hasn't really yeah, started yeah. yet so there's no point yep. in like uh, uh, starting from replay um, I'm trying to remember what what, what the le was in the last one so that I can say it again but I don't remember. <laughs> uh, oh apparently oh, Melty is telling him that Apparently Sullivanth was the one who told uh, Melty about the proxy hatch thing. <laughs> no. Not Blisk. Not Blisk. Not Blisk. Not Blisk, not Blisk, not Blask. Because uh, there's Blask. a Blask as well. I casted their yeah. game. Blask versus Blisk. I was so happy. I don't Blasky even remember Blisky. what tournament that was on. I think that was one of the uh, Proxy Tempest tournaments. Hey, Maddox is back. Okay, yeah, we go. Let's go. It's, uh, who's host? Oh, oh, you, you, you're the host. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Starten then <laughs> game. What's that icon you have? P finals. Uh, Pro League. Pro League finals. Okay. 2016. I don't even know why I got that. I didn't. I never watch Pro League apart from VODs later on. Mm -mm. Because Pro League was before I got into StarCraft 2. But apparently I have the emblem for the 2016 finals. Oh, no, so. it's... Oh, God damn it! It's up, it's backwards. Hold on. Uh, what was it? Mouse and keyboard, invert drags... Why would I invert drags roll? Who does that? What kind of... What kind of crazy brain inverts Someone that? Someone left-handed. <laughs> Look, you do you. I'm not judging. But I am. Anyway, we are on Port Alexander once again. L E L E stands for um, lousy extractor. Lousy extractor. That's that one extractor that Azurg has at the end of the game in a base trade situation. Hey, he's trying. When it's, it's what do you mean lousy? That's like it's Azurg the game. It's a lousy extractor. That's like no. That's literally what wins the Zerg the game. Yeah, it's lousy for the other player. Well, I mean, yeah, from that perspective. Well, from my perspective, I'm the one that's right. Anyway. You, you want to have a debate over this uh, pool of lava here? <laughs> With my lightsaber? Uh, <laughs> I had a segue. I had a good segue, and then you interrupted me, and I... <laughs> yeah, cool. In the south east, currently have one in this best of three series. Our yellow Zerg, you're presenting Tristam Community. It is Melty. And in the northwest, our red Terran. G new appearance in the tournament, or recent appearance at least. Give it up for Maddox. I mean, he may as well be a third, a new appearance because, as I said, we've never actually seen him play before today. Mm -hmm. This is this is our first time casting. And I mean, we didn't actually, we did, and even still, we haven't really been able to see what he's capable of because uh, Melty. <laughs> Melty was too that. quick. <laughs> <laughs> this time, Maddox, uh, yeah, Melty, stays at home, gets a hatchery at home, like a, like a proper person, <laughs> like a not like a non risk yeah, zone. Melty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Maddox gets to uh, do a simple Reaper Expand and uh, we well, see a 1 1 1 not a 2 1 1 a 2 1 1 1 a 2 1 1 um. <laughs> Reaper are going to come in scout the third base the a 2 1 1 1 2 1 1 I don't remember how that song even goes. To be fair. Ooh, mm -hmm. look at that. That's an armory and hellions being mm -hmm. made. This is going to be a <laughs> hell bad bush. This is not TY's 2 1 1. Nope. This is Maddox's 1 1 hell bad fucking armory time and let's go! This is a fire one. Uh. You remember when people thought that uh, 
fire hellbat timings weren't going to be as common, or rather, not hellbat timings, because they're still, no matter how you slice it, hellbat timings are useful, but I meant more like hellbat all-ins, which were decently popular towards the end of last year. They were like, oh, Cyclone's going to be changed to Tech Lab, we're not going to see any more hellbat all-ins. What? And well, we see I'm us. I lost you somewhere in that conversation a long time ago, and I can't even tell you when. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the second factory coming down from Maddox, getting a tech lab. Okay, so maybe he will third be going factory That's a actually. Third, no, third, yeah, third. Huh. So yeah, maybe he will be going for a Hellbat Cyclone all in of some kind. So it's a one three one one three three. Smart it's servos smart as servos. well, just for the extra hellbat pushing in. Push it, push it, push activity. Oh, a nice surround on these hellions. That's exactly what we needs to be doing. Them. Whittling down the numbers before they become useful, and they are all going to go down. Oh, that is. Ouch. Whoo! Yeah, no, ouch. That is like a perfect defense for Melty. Yeah, no, ouch. Owie. Oh, the bone. My bones. <laughs> it's in the bone! Should be seeing blue flame. Yep, that is the blue flame. Uh, but Melty is already transitioning He's to He's committed roaches. to this. And, and, you know, Hellbats are still pretty good against roaches. I mean, they, they, they deal well with them. They're better than Hellions in that um, regard. Yeah. And they definitely deal with the Zerglings. Um... And they definitely but deal with the, thing. the uh, roaches are drones. way more mobile than uh, than uh, hellbats. Hellbat. I mean, I suppose if when you have the uh, servo thingies, and it's, it's that's fine. Mm, can you get away? Is the question because roaches can still do a pretty good job surrounding. Yeah. Oh, see, this is why zerglings don't do well against hellbats. But that's just free supply to get some re uh, roaches in later yeah. on. Focus firing the queen. He has enough queens. Then to, that uh, just melts down. Easy. He even melties them. Down. Eh. Easy. I'm also I'm more eh. concerned that this wall is not really a wall. And more aliens can just drive by through it. Dally cat, thank you for the Yeah, for absolutely can. Quack quack. And we're actually starting to see even more hellbats come in. Blue flame just popped. And that's not a massive roach count. Uh, it granted, yep. the roaches just eat the tank for the queens. Oh, that was some but juicy connections there. So, even really though the Hellbats. Maddox didn't... should pull out a little. I feel like Maddox. Actually, no, Maddox is at 33 yep. workers. See, what is not a wall and the Hellbats get more. right in. More Hellbats come I think, in. I think he may. You know, he shouldn't have transformed this to Hellbats. They were great as Hellions. If he, I feel like if he wanted to, to transform them into Hellbats, he should have focused the Queen. Yeah. But, you know, it's something that you learn. It's, it's not while. that big we of a deal because there were, there, there yep. were more Hellions coming in. Um, Absolutely. Oh, Rip the these drones. Rip that Queen. 34 drones okay. have gone down. And there is no bank for Melty. His army supply is entirely these Roaches and Queens. And once these Roaches yeah. die, the Jeez. Queens are out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yep. Blue, blue flambe <laughs> cheese. Uh, flambe bleu. Flambe Looks bleu. like uh, well, Melty hasn't given up uh, just yet. Actually, yeah, Melty's coming back in. Gets a decent army supply. He's so, gotten the worker count back. You see Cyclone up, uh, follow of. up for Maddox. That that's going to help that's with the roaches. roaches. Uh, <laughs> much better. Uh, no matter, they did lose a lot of workers, 47 of them. Um, <laughs> but he has remade them, so he's back on a, on a decent economy. Uh, and he's going to get some Ravagers to try oh, and uh, attack there. I, how Maddox does, here. Yeah, how do Ravagers compare versus Hellbats, Blue Flame Hellbats? Because they don't have any armor tag. Mm. They're not light units, but they're not armored either. Yeah, but the the Hellions can deal with them. Yeah. Like so, like yeah. so. Yeah. Avoid the Corrosive Isles. Oh, <laughs> was drove into the Corrosives. It's like the one unit that shouldn't be hit by Corrosive Isles. 
He's the, he's and a hellion. You see the hellion starting to melt down these ravagers. Maybe melting, even, not melting them. Making even more. <laughs> Sorry. Melting them. Yep. <laughs> melting them. Melting. Yep. Melting. Melting. <laughs> Look, you knew what you signed up for when you, uh, when you opened up this cast. This is, this is what you signed up for. Melty is getting 10 more drones. He's going to just, uh, macro up while this is happening. That, if he kept... Uh, Melty can come back. And yeah, that he, surprises me. He held long enough to actually, uh, get ahead economically in his, uh, his income is back. That being said, Maddox knows that uh, the position movement. Melty is in, and as such, he's just going very greedy. Can't yeah. afford to lose this army now, which he's being very careful with it. These cyclones are gonna whittle down the roach count. Make it a little easier for the Hellbats to pick off the Ravagers. Uh Light VIP just gifted a sub to uh Kuro. Otherwise known as the 16th Squad Sonseki, yeah, that was known as uh, half of our admin team for today. The other half <laughs> being Terran Lord, the Lord of the Terrans, the brother of the other brother of the Lord of the Terrans, who is also known as also, uh, Phoenix Tears, who is also, not the, uh, that Phoenix, the other Phoenix, not Phoenix, and not Doctor Brother, who is the other brother of the, the Lord of the Terrans. Yep, Terror Lord, otherwise known as Kaiser Cockmunch. Hmm. Uh, man, that's a different title. <laughs> I'm not sure that's family appropriate. <laughs> uh, yeah. brother Phoenix here, so it's known as Skinny Penis. No, they they together they are Terran Tears. That's their uh, their awkward name. Um, Terran Tears makes yeah. sense. No, actually, it'll be something weird if they actually do go Archon. It'll be something weird like Terror Ears. Terror Ears. Something like that. Terra Ears. Terra Ears or something. Terriers. Terraria. Or Terra X Tears. Terraria. Terrariers. Vol Terriers. Vol Terriers. <laughs> There's like little Terriers with with the head oh, of yeah. Voltacus. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we are basically just that so really Yeah, awesome. all right. The armies are it's clashing close. here. It's uh, yeah. wild shots versus a really uh, lock-in, lock-on thing is, which is a weird thing we've never actually that seen was actually before. actually a think. pretty good fight for Melty, which surprises me. Yeah, he's, he keeps he's sticking got a really on the nice tanks. Concave, a really good position. Uh, Maddox's and army Maddox. gets chipped away at. I uh, might catch yep. some queens here. Uh, nice transfuses by Melty, Lock and the sandwich is coming. Oh, uh, Maddox is gonna lose all of these cyclones. So that's a nice mech army uh, gone here for Maddox. It's pretty bad, and in the meantime, Melty got a fourth base, set up a much better economy. Uh, his income got dipped there for a second. Well, I'm wondering why. Oh, he's, uh, he switched to gas. He switched, he's, he switched yep. to very gas heavy uh, economy. Mm -hmm. And he's getting a uh, hydraulic upgrade, so he's going to switch to that. It's going to do pretty well against uh, some mech. Motors are dipping, uh, jumping through the low ground. There's a lot of siege tanks here. You, you really don't want to be here. Even if we have the numbers advantage, there's enough splash to. Uh, to eliminate us, Argarmi. Just, uh, just drop on top of them, forehead. Mm-hmm. Um... Although that might start getting to be a little bit difficult, considering that there's some Thors in the way. Spire, gonna be coming down... Uh, it would have been the right reaction from Melty, if not for the Thors, but then again, he doesn't see the Thors, so can't mm -hmm. really blame him there. Uh, nice script spread by Melty so far, and Maddox is finally, uh, starting to, uh, to work to clean that up. And there's some uh, Terran creeps right going up for Maddox as well. Yeah. Just to see where Melty is coming. Give you that extra bit of uh, knowledge. One Thor goes out. Let's see if uh, Maddox makes any more. Did did he actually scout the uh, the, the river? The spire? No, no didn't, he didn't scout the spire. But meh, maybe it's just a blind uh, blind Thor. 
I mean, you think, yeah, you think that as the game goes on, especially considering how heavy you're invested into Hellbat tank, you want the Zerg should know I can get Mutalisk or I can get Brute Lord, so you need to be prepared for that. Mm, Vipers for Murphy. That's also not a bad option. Yeah. A little bit, get them blinding clouds in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and then definitely, you can get your definitely a great unit against uh, late game terror. Has to be careful against the Thors, though. They do have a range buff now, which, I mean, that's been memed about mm -hmm. quite a bit, but this is definitely an instance where that plus one range can definitely help out the Terran army. Uh, okay. I think we're gonna try and go here into the low ground. Uh, we try and use the bile shots to uh, zone Maddox away, but uh, doesn't want to commit. Smartly enough, doesn't want to commit to going down a ramp with five siege tanks already sieged. Um, but he does see the Thor. Mm. So he might yep, not. He's gonna uh, play very careful with his Viper. And, and getting the greatest fire the as greatest well. Fire. So, yeah, so he's not going he's... in Mutalisks and he's just going for uh, yep. Broodlords. He uh, should know that if the Thor count is low enough, then if he gets enough Brute Lords, he can just pick them off one by one. Oh, the the tanks are seized! Oh, Some bite shots go down on them, but they uh, not enough to kill all of them. Oof. So Maddox is going to inch forward a little bit. Gotta, gotta sp spread that creep, cr clean that creep there though. Nah, it's fine. Uh, Ooh, those vipers are going nice in at the cloud, wrong time, I would say. Anyway. Right to the Thors and... yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's enough to clean up the Terran army, and Blinding there's nothing to buffer the for the tanks. The vipers survive. The vipers survive. That's still more blinding clouds in. There's nothing. Again, as you said, no buffer for the tanks. Two or three tanks, I believe, not even firing. That could have easily made the difference. Alright, Thors have been... It's serious mode now. The Thors are in Javelin Missile. Not gonna let those Vipers get another cloud out. But look at how many bases Melty has right now compared to Maddox. Yeah. Jesus H. That's a proper Zerg base when when the base is half the map, Economy. basically. Yeah. Zerg only has one base, but that base contains a lot of mineral fields. Alright, trying to clean up a bit more Maddox with the uh, Blue Flame Halions. Those blue flame we're definitely gonna work against. Uh, kind of yeah, actually there. against corrupted brute lords. That's not a full multi... mineral line. He wants to go for the uh, fourth base here. That should. That's a lot of larva lot as of well. Here in the nigh. But the thing is, he has a lot of larva because he is basically supply locked. Mm -hmm. A pretty dang close to it. They lose some drones, but at this point, actually no, it's not no big deal because he doesn't have a good bank. Yeah. How about Thor? If Melty mix uh, commits to a full transition to Corrupted Brute Lord, Hellbat Thor will be very, very good against that, but it doesn't seem like he's doing that. He understands that he still needs a bit of a ground army. <laughs> Look at that. Melty is all, <laughs> the creep uh, is almost right up on to uh, Maddox's base here. Um, yep. Okay, Once again, moving out. big thing that I think Melty was known for back in his cha first championship run, really. Apart from his aggression, his creep spread. Um, yeah. That's when he uh, learned to uh, do the, the keyboard. Um, yep. What is that? Press the button. Refresh rate thing. Uh, <laughs> actually, you're losing oh. some brute lords. Blinding cloud. Wasting a blinding cloud on this single Viking. Uh, no, that was uh, uh, by, not uh, Parasite. Yeah, Parasite Bomb. bomb. Yeah, uh, he's actually bomb. losing all the. Thors, but the Vikings are enough to clean out the Broodlords, and Melty's meaning all of his they Broodlords. are, there's not a lot of anti-air here. The biggest source of anti-air is Parasitic Bomb. Mm -hmm. Has a couple of Hydras, but they're really not doing uh, and much. I know, it's getting the tanks one by one. But actually, it together. seems like Melty, one by one, is picking his army apart. Yeah. The, all Doesn't the tanks quite are, have the banks uh, the Remax yet, but his separated. economy is still looking pretty good. Um... Yeah, and he still hasn't done damage to the Terran economy, but, you know, losing all of these mech the units, economy, yeah. it's, uh, it's really bad. How is Vipers still alive? Yes, they are. Lost a lot of rulers, though. Um, I think that 
it could that Hellion drive-by was really good, but it was a little bit too late. You know, when you when you go through the discomposition, you kind of want to do the, uh, the Hellion drive-bys all the time to keep the Zerg from uh, mm. from getting to this stage mm. where, you, okay, where, where you can you know. make ten brood lords in one go. Like can we get a shot at that army in the middle of the map? Because this is about the end yeah. of Melty's current army. Yeah. That's a lot of brute lords. Mm. And how is the Viking count for uh, Manox? None. None. Three Hellions, three tanks. Mm. Ow, oh, owie, my bones. I and he just you, can't rebuild If only, guy. if only As I had the Viking. <laughs> well, he's getting four, but between the three corruptors. Doesn't seem like much, but then think of the Vipers. Think of the Parabomb. Yeah. And yeah, there's enough backup for the uh, Broodlords. Good game. Well, GG will play. Well played. That was a very well played good game. <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes. Start TVZ. to finish. This is why we need more Terran players, yo. This is why we need to play on KR server. This is why we need to play on KR server. <laughs> yeah. oh. where, where the good games happen. It's been right. so long since we've seen TBZ, but we've had some really good ones tonight. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, Maddox is going to go down to the uh, lower bracket. Uh, EBG winning 2 and 0 versus Nemesis. Dude, we're going to see another TVZ! In the semi-final, which we'll uh, be casting next. Yep, TVZ! Yeah! This is, this is the TVZ tournament. The return! Absolutely. We have not casted a single Protoss tonight. I'm fine with that. <laughs> the the Protosse. Are... Actually, we do have Protosse. We have uh, Nemesis, we have we Jonathan, have Protoss players. we have... Uh... Wait, no, Jonathan... Yeah, Jonathan is Protoss. Um, Jonathan is Protoss, yeah. Uh, who else? Is Potato, Potato Pleb is... I Karen, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. I don't remember. <clears throat> Alright, so in the lower bracket so far, we still have Maddox, Major Spaniel, um, Nemesis, and Vonnerre. Nemesis is going up against Vonnerre, who uh, won... Uh, one and zero against Quirky. Also, stats is back. Stats? No, shit. Uh, what's his name? Melty. And you are lobby host. Yep. So we can go right into the game. Is Yaku the only player ever to not get congratulated for his promotion? <laughs> <laughs> Think so, yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, Yakuzaku got promoted out of Platinum League uh, and disqualified like, himself for being in the... About six, seven hours before our first VTL match. Wh where you have to put on players based on their uh, standings. Right, yeah. So we were down one player because Yaku got promoted too fast. <laughs> Alright everyone, welcome to Automaton LE. Ellie, of course, stands for um, Lucid Exterior. Lucid Exterior. That's when the outside is aware. Man, the outside, it knows. It knows everything. Because it is everything. Yeah, what's two times two? Does it need to know, man? Because it's everything. It is Two plus two. The outside, man. Okay, Stephen Hyde. In the northeast corner of a... It's not even a corner. Automaton. automaton. In the northeast corner of Automaton, Melty is setting up a <laughs> proxy hatch. Right Thanks, next to Sal. this player. Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> uh, who's going to... Uh, I'm gonna have to defend it. This is a yellow Terran. Give it up for EBG. 
Yeah, we still have a little bit of trouble pronouncing the name. Yeah, so. and it is a uh, place. <laughs> right for the acronym. Proxying across the map, it is a uh, Red Zerg. Give it up for Sidestorm Community Zone Melty. Yeah, that pause was to make sure I'm not saying uh, Psyx instead of Sidestorm. The one that doesn't exist. And yeah. this is the typical response you see to a proxy hatch. Mm -hmm. Not pulling eight workers down to try to kill it. Uh, just put down a bunker. Mm -hmm. Get a marine, even two marines, really. Yeah. And provided you're repairing the bunker, of course, but that is costly. Mm -hmm. It can cost you SCVs, but then again, you know, sometimes it, you're only able to get two marines out in time. It so also like, telegraphs yeah. to the Zerg, hey, don't, don't follow up with this. Don't commit to this. Yeah, don't commit to this. And Melty isn't, he's, he's getting a, another hatchery at home. Mm -hmm. This is just, uh, he's gonna uh, try to do some damage with this. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna get a Zerg, he's gonna go up the ramp, see what's what, maybe. Probably gonna put down some, yeah, probably gonna put down some tumors, try to deny area, building area. Um, for a Getting a spine crawler actually, or trying to. This SCV. Oh! He's gonna be as annoying as possible, but uh, yeah, he's not committing to yep. this fully. Oh, nice little cancel. But the SCV does go down. No, why do you inject there? Uh. Because it wants to. Because like the, the more larva there, there is here. Uh, the more annoying you can be. The more right. You okay. can make overlords well, and, and. I don't know about that. Down. I don't know about that. You can always like use the energy for putting down a creep tumor or two. Uh yeah, but it's going to go down before it uh, it becomes invisible. Mm -hmm. I think if there are marines okay. there. See, it's just we're gonna make okay. some overlords here. Um, okay. Maybe a few more zerglings. I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh, it he's now. getting. Oh, he's getting drones. He's gonna put more spines. <laughs> Well, he's bringing some zerglings, so maybe this is just to uh, keep the bunker busy while he's uh, running through with zerglings? No. Oh, they don't have speed yet. If they had speed, that would have been more nice, I think. Yeah, I guess broodlings are also annoying. Yeah, he's waiting for the broodlings and then surrounds the bunker, so no repair. But how did this go down already? Oh, that was actually the right move to get yeah, the... Nice. Yeah, now I see what you mean by getting the inject. I see what you mean now. Yeah. That was a very good move from... Uh, that spine crawler MLC. is... Ah, it's gonna be bleeding all the way home. <laughs> Existence actually, is it's Actually, they don't bleed when they walk off creep, right? They don't, no. But they are pretty slow. But you kind of need to remember that... Existence is plain. <laughs> I was born. Uh, and everything burns. The bus. Zolings don't do very well against one single tank. Uh, I like that. supply depot, but <laughs> I like that. Put something else. I like that the uh, supply depot gets exploded and immediately everything disappears and there's like, huh? The marines are behind the wall just being afraid and the wall disappears and they're like, what? Oh! What? Who? Where? But the tank is too good. Look at that, it's spraying like blood all over the place. Get Disgusting. Yeah, okay. Come on! Don't have. I just mopped the hospital floor. Don't have an emergency here. <laughs> Can medivacs heal uh, spine crawlers? Can medivacs heal. Ah! Uh, are they listed as bio? I don't. I don't think they are, no. Uh... Because medivacs I can't the, uh... heal buildings, because if you're allied to a Zerg player, you can't heal their buildings, but you can mm. transfuse them with Queen. I, I hate that the uh, the tooltip for the uh, WCS interface it doesn't really show you all the unit stuff, like the important yeah. things. I would have liked if it showed the, the armor tag, the specification. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to show the weapon and armor thingy thing, but it would be nice to know, like, just how much DPS it does. Yeah. A single unit does it. So, so just in case you need that information, it's, it could be somewhere hidden there. But then again, I'm guessing WC when the guy who made WCS mod, uh. He was, I guess he sort of assumed that the casters would be, have that knowledge, either yeah. on the side or in your brain. Don't give casters credit. 
By the way, look at the uh, units lost tab. They don't even play the game. L look at how much resources yeah, Menti lost here. That's pretty good. EPG for only lost EPG a, a so bunker, far. three SCVs, and six Marines. That was a beautiful hole there. Melty is uh, breaking down the gold rush. Melty! Erne, what are we doing, Melty? Melty is harnessing the powers of Quirky, Blisk, and Kuro. Is he going Next to get... Next game he's going to start... Next game he's going to start gas stealing and he's going to go full <laughs> on cranky, sir. He's actually he's getting a third base at a third base location. I'm wondering if he's... What, what's his plan here? Um, Double expand. EBG... No, actually, Should doesn't see. see this. He doesn't, doesn't see this. He's doesn't busy killing it. queens and stuff, you know. You know, banshee stuff. stuff. Yeah, nice crypt denial. Whiskey not uh, detecting it this time. Very surprised. But yeah. then again, he did just eat, so. Yeah, he just fed him, so he's Lunch not. Break. He doesn't care for cloaked units if he had food. <laughs> Hashtag pug life. Hashtag pug life. I mean, you know, you gotta you gotta eat so you have energy so you can take a nap so you'll be ready to sleep. So you have the energy to go to bed, yeah. yeah. Gotta it's a it's a cascade effect. If you don't eat now, you don't have energy to uh, take a nap. You don't take uh, to take a nap, you, uh, you can't uh, go to sleep. Okay, mind drop coming in from uh, EBG. That's what I like to With see. Some marines to uh, to complement that. Loses the ha ha a hatch. Those banshees are I still, did not uh, think that still I was going gonna... strong. Yeah, I did not think that he was going to lose that hatch. Okay, so now EBG should see the uh, plan here. With this gold base on the... It's yep. basically a double expand. And gets a cancel. Nice. Thank you for that. Ooh, that wasn't a cancel. Yeah, okay, that was a cancel. That was a cancel, that was a cancel yeah. yeah. Oh, friendly fire! This mine does not pick up the overseer. So that's pretty good, but the Marines easily can. Nice transfuse coming down from EB. EB. Yeah, no, gotta get the Gotta get the email. Focus the overseer. Focus the overseer. Ooh, no. getting that. Getting that queen ahead. High energy. Good move, nonetheless. Yeah, pretty good moves by EBG overall. Combat shield just finished, so his bio is gonna be even stronger. With the added Widow Mines. It's gonna be really annoying. Oh, and Melty's going Mutalisks. Oh no. One widow mine is enough. No. That's it though, if if EBG does try to retreat back behind his mines and the mutas jump right on top of the bio, mm -hmm. that's a lot of friendly fire. Uh, yeah, but you're gonna need to get lucky there. Yeah, it does turrets all over the place for uh, EBG. I don't know if it did he uh See the spire. He didn't see the spire, but I'm assuming he saw the uh, with the uh, with widow mines. The uh, the flying widow mines. The flying. <laughs> <laughs> the flying widow mines. Uh, Scourge. <laughs> Scourges. This. The, the, That's not in this game. Ah. Uh, no, Mutalisks. That's the one. That, Muta. I forgot the name of Mutalisk. Sometimes I forget the names of things. Even the important He thing does thing. not demand that is. Flying mines, I mean... Well, they you're are, right, you're right. They are as annoying as flying widow mines, <laughs> aren't they? Oh, when they're right, 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 oh, commanded, but they are gonna avoid... Get out. Uh, There's a lot mind, of... Oh, friendly fire! No, no friendly fire, but that was still a pretty good split by Melty. Yeah. How many That's hot pickup? That's a there. Is that hot pickup? Yeah, whatever. Okay, the mutilist jump on top of a turret. Enough mutilist to take out a single turret. Yeah, but yep. he does lose and one of them. One more. There are more no turrets. cancels there, but now there are uh, more turrets coming down. Yeah, this is creating a nice little Venn diagram. He's gonna get some supply. It's gonna get harder and harder. To, yeah. It's not even going it's to gonna supply. It's gonna get harder and harder for Melty to harass his base with mutilists later on. Yeah, there's an. How many turrets does EBG have? There's eight. He's needing more. Not enough. Uh, okay, so he's going to get supply block day for a second, but that's about it for the Mutalists. Uh, we can't... Hmm... break in here. Oh, oh there are whole position. More. Oh, no. Okay, 
Melty backing off. He knows he can't break this. Yeah. It looked like he was gonna try to. Yeah, it was the gonna, it was gonna bait bust the air. The uh... then he realized I don't have the mute account to do it. Mm hmm. And also yeah, there was a, a drop that that from Bainbus. that drop that was here uh, before. It's bad. At least the mutants are good for that, for uh, you know, catching uh, drops. But so uh, I just lost all the music. This is one. Oh, one last oh, on that. here. Oh no! Nope. None anymore. Not anymore. Okay, Melty has had enough. Okay. He's just. Uh, Mine's are ahead. not down yet. Do we yeah. see any friendly fire go down? Not quite. A little bit, actually. Great but the base by Melty, but not, not enough. enough. Not enough. EPG still has the much bigger army, the defenses are up. Um, Attempting to remax as fast as he can, but he just doesn't have the larva for it. And EBG going to be secure. Oh, these his... Marines are still alive. Look at that. Yeah. Now EBG going to be securing, depending on how you look at it, his 4 for his 5th. He could break down the rocks and the gold, if he so decides. Uh, yeah, it looks like that was he was planning, to make this uh, the, the base that was here a planetary fortress, and then... Uh... Oh, what about BAM! No! Oh. What the hell? Come on! Come on! That should have destroyed that that cloud of Irving. And GG is called. GG is called. ABG! He did say that he doesn't like TVP, but I'm guessing TVZ on the other hand. And he, d he did say Lord. that he was uh, using his time with SDO to get better at the game. Mm -hmm. And he is. Um. Yeah, Melty is complaining that he had uh, he had uh, uh, frame rate issues. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Looks like we're ready, and uh, we'll get into the game. We had a host. Okay, push button. <laughs> I'm not gonna put ready until it's we're very, very sure that they're ready. I know, I'm just teasing you. Like people do to me. Every time I'm lobby host, people shout at me. I mean, they're not, I'm not sure. I mean, me. that's mostly Kuro. I, might, I mean, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if people actually shout at me. I mean, they type. But I read it as shouting. Maybe that's just me. Because you're from comic book land. And they also where say, for Kabow, some reason, Pachow, Pow, Macau, Pachow, where for some reason, yeah. Bam, Blamo, Kazam. <laughs> Alright, everyone, welcome to Year Zero LE. LE, of course, stands for. Um, let us. Eruption. <laughs> let us eruption. That's when you're about to eat a head of lettuce and it just goes. Because it turns out it's a painling. I don't know, maybe you didn't have your glasses on and you confused the two. And now you are uh, melted in a pool of acid. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I was silly. In the northeast. Uh, currently up one in this best of three series. Our green terran is EPG. In the northwest of Year Zero, former SDO champion, our yellow Zerg, representing Sistone Community, is Melty. This time, EPG is the one <laughs> with the, uh, the high ping. <laughs> one at a this time. This is what you get. Uh, Should be better than three frames. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, 300 ping is rough. But for me, it's not unplayable. Mm, I mean, it's a it's a disadvantage. It's a handicap, but you know. I mean, both of them are a little different because the frame thing. I mean, ping messes up with your control, but frames, they, it messes up your ability to actually see what's going on, and register yeah. like stuff that's happening. Yeah. So they're both really, yep. really bad. You, you don't frame rate more than ping. Um, yeah, I think I so. Say. I think I think frame rate, but a bad frame rate is way worse than bad ping. Way worse than bad ping, yeah. Uh, 
But we're not here to win this which is, is the worst one. We're this here isn't to the win Misery the Olympics. Game. This is the Sea Duckling Open. Not the, not the Misery Duckling Not Open. WCS. <laughs> no, WCS. This is better. We're better. Right? Right, yeah, this is better. WCS. We have gold league casting here. They don't have people. So. They don't have gold league casting on WCS. No, they don't. Sometimes they have it with the uh, community casting because we bestow upon them the wonders the of, honor. Uh, of Google League casting, but usually they, they don't have that. Okay, so Multi going for three bases again. This time being this even time less aggressive his third than base is over on his side of the map. But he's getting bending speed and. Uh, circling speed and. Uh, speed. Uh, b b b overload speed. Upgrade oh, thingy. What was this called the name of it? Uh, pneumatized carapace. Pneumatized carapace. New, new You're waiting for it to pop up on the right side of the screen. Yeah. Or <laughs> pneumatized carapace. Pneumatized, pneumatized carapace. 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 Pneumatized carapace. Ooh. Hold, <laughs> hold your turns. It could just be for liberate range. I mean, I, if you're going hellion. No, 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 no. There's a tech lab on the starboard. This, yes, for lib range. This is gonna be some stupid units. This is the first time you know you I'm need, casting the. You know you need the tech lab for liberate range, right? Nope. Oh, you do, right? But I don't think it's going it to. Could be. There's no need to get yeah. liberator range at this point. This is this is this is stupid unit. Um, but they increase the time that it takes to research Yamato cannon steel. Uh, actually, this is the in first time. This is... In order to discourage PC rushes and TVC. Shh, I'm excited. This is the first time I get to cast the the new uh, stupid unit. You need to play more milk. You need to watch more milk versus light games then. That's not casting. Uh, oh, but Melty is going to see it. Uh, what? He's he sees see the tech lab. He doesn't lab. see the uh, doesn't thing, see thing. He doesn't see the fusion core. That's what it's called. Uh, oh, and is, he's not going in that direction. Is he going to think it's a? What is, is this going he to? He probably get thinks it's a raven. Spores. He probably thinks it's a raven. He's getting spores, so he thinks it's a banshee What's again. What's a spore going to do? Remember, uh, or a raven? Uh, Ibuji Because he's not get... researching anything from it, so it very well. Well, yeah, it could still be like Viking. Ibg right did raid, get uh, did a double banshee the previous game. Yep. Well, it's going. It's going to have some spores. That's going to be helpful. A lot of hellions coming down. Oh, he's going to catch him. About to catch him. They they tried to that be sneaky. PC is not going to be seen by. Oh, the overlord is in place. I think he sees it now. Uh, no, he didn't. Where did PC go? He didn't see. He saw the go? the extra barracks, but that's about it. Maybe he saw. Maybe he saw the BC though. Where'd it go? Um, uh, he jumped into his natural, and he's already getting two kills. Right on top. Uh, it's it's attacking it's not focus the firing, spore no. crawler. Yeah, it's it's busy with the spore crawler. And now there's another one here. The uh, the hellions actually didn't get all that much damage. It's the battle cruiser that's doing yeah, getting the did. kills here, and he says it has no Three jump. Kills. That was Third Tempest, yo. Yeah, I'm wondering uh, on this map, maybe it would have been a lot smarter to uh, sneak the uh, the battle cruiser through the uh, the void here. But uh, aim yeah, but it, yeah, have but some aim lunch. On <gasps> what are you doing here, battle cruiser? Your stupid unit, go away. Oh jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't think it would be a big issue. Look <laughs> at that. <laughs> that centipede was like, surrounded by something. Get out of here! <laughs> it's map property. Alright, uh, not coming okay. into it. Smart uh, move. Hydralisks. Uh, but it did tell... Ah, uh, well... I was gonna say, it did tell Melty... Oh, I need Hydras, but then again, Hydraling Bane is still... Yeah, it's, it's very, good, very, it's very, very for everything, um, pretty much. Um, yeah, and Ibuji hasn't committed to the uh, stupid units. He's uh, switched his uh, starport to get some medivacs. He's gonna go uh, bio tank. 
is uh, great. It's full marines. I don't see any marauders being made. Yeah, he doesn't really need to. I think he's really confident in his micro. Melty tries to get the Oklo command here, but uh, EBG floats it up and defends. Uh, Melty getting 30 more circlings and a Baning Nest is, uh, yeah, he's responding and to the already. Spread. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, great creep spread with them upgraded keyboard settings. Um, and yeah, this Rapid is going to fire. Can I can I share something with you, Yaku? I'm very happy with today's SDO. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I wonder it's... what's the one ma race slash matchup we didn't see yet. I, I rather well, what's 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 one of my favorite matchups in the game that happens to be <laughs> all we see today. <laughs> TVT is it? TVZ! We also saw some nice TVZs as well. Yeah. This is, uh, like, this yeah, is like the old school so. SDO. This is like the good old times. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really is. Alright, wait, so who. Uh, it's Ibiju who has the uh, lower ping, right? The, the, the worst ping. I mean. Yep, currently. Moment. So yeah, so maybe that explains um, the uh, the control with the Hellions and the uh, the battle cruiser. Because when like six, they were blue flame, right? No, they weren't blue flame. They were just they were blue flame. Six six Hellions and a battle cruiser should get more than four drone kills. Even even on a prepared Zerg. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe he was focusing elsewhere at well, the time. Yeah, the battle cruisers was shooting the uh, the spore. Because the, the last yeah, thing he was want focusing to be elsewhere. shooting there. Uh, and the uh, Hellions went into a, a saturated mineral line and got nothing. It's, uh, that attack should have been way more devastating. I think. Um, drilling claws coming on for, uh, for EBGs. So it's going to be. Uh, mm. Uh, uh, interesting Marine, that he's switching Marine from. Tank, uh, interesting that he's switching from tank to widow mines when it's hydrilling banes coming out. Um, I, widow mines with uh, drilling claws are pretty good everywhere, with any matchup. Yeah, but they're also they become, pretty good. They become for very your cost effective. If you get friendly fire. They become very cost effective, they become very difficult for the enemy to deal with them, they have to get detection, they have to, to search for them, they have to be careful well, wherever they go. I it's a, it's a pretty I would nice say compliment. it's playstyle. I would say it's playstyle at that point. If you want to be really aggressive and like, you know, hot pick up and move your units so they don't get splashed it on or whatever, then yeah, go for mines. But if you prefer like positional battles, yeah. And having your artillery fire from afar. Your mines are that's, great for that's... positional battles. You put some mines on the side to make sure the Zerg doesn't swarm you, and then you bait them to that position. You know. Yeah. You, you put your yeah, tanks. I, you put I, your I, tanks in yeah, a dangerous position. Yeah, I had the wrong wording. I had the wrong wording in there, but you know, it's like, do you prefer to like siege your opponent, hence the name siege tank, or mm -hmm. do you prefer to go right in there? Um, it goes out of play style, I would say. Yeah, I would say, uh, I'm saying, uh, having some Widow Mines to complement, because he's still making tanks, he hasn't, you know, he's not switching out of tanks. Uh, he just adds some uh, some extra oomph to the Terran arsenal, which Widow Mines do fantastically, especially with the uh, thingy, the uh, upgrade. The yeah, red thingy, the laser pointer. The laser pointer. <laughs> Hold on, I had to hydrate my hydras. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that liberator is going. Oh no! That liberator is going to survive apparently. There's one starter step with the hydralisks and it. Oh yeah, this is squid. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, this drop gets some uh, drones and gets to uh, back away. Is there another? No, that's just a bunch of uh, patrol dancing, dancing zerg, uh, zerg mosh pit, if you will. Yeah. What's that? Circle drop? pit, even. Yeah, standing here and then next to this Diablo looking stuff. Um, it is, it do, this map does look like the the hell level in Diablo 2. 
which uh, which further strengthens yeah. the uh, the uh, the big JC argument that Amon is just space Diablo. Y yeah, yeah. Not that, not that it was a weak argument to begin with. But, yeah. All right, I, so EBG, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, look at him exactly. Oh, the mines, mines! Bam, bam. Okay, he's back. Ooh. I got a little bit uh, worried when yeah, I see Bio on top of mines. This is uh, like, like, like you were afraid. This is exactly where you don't want to be using the Widow Mines. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the Bio is enough. Um, and the drop goes in again. Gets a few more drone kills. Uh, Splitting this, this Melty's attention. Really, really the, uh, good. Medivac, but still, M nice, uh, nice drop there. Ten more is dead. But Melty's creep is so, so, so good. You can see all of EBG's army wherever they are. Mm -hmm. Go around accordingly. Have, uh, there's some brood lords coming in. Gonna be eight of them to start with from Melty, and way a lot more zerglings. Oh, just stimming in. Of them. Uh, they almost get to borrow it. He runs away. Oh, oh nice. takes out the banelings. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't think there's yeah, enough rulers. No, there are no, in not fact, enough marines. Just he a kept ton of corruptors. One baneling hit got them to the red uh, health bar, but uh, and that was enough for the broodlings to uh, chew them out. That's. So if Melty if Melty wins this, what server are we going on game three? Uh, Alright. So Melty's still not able to uh, break through, but definitely uh, got drove EVG back, and EVG losing a lot of resources here on this attack. There's a lot of marines, a lot of tanks, some medivacs as well. Um, and Melty still has only uh, 13 Broodlords. <laughs> that's a... That's like a wave of 26 Zerglings every uh, few seconds. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, Thor is coming up and... And, uh, and they've got the range Vikings. both. Lots of Vikings as well, but there are also a lot of Corruptors that aren't actually uh, in the front. Widow Mines trying to dig under the Brood but, Lords, but they don't the get Viking there. I think the Viking count is enough. Oh, but being, uh, what's it called, supplemented by these Hydralists. Okay, some Widow Mines get down there, but no, they don't. And, and finally, this is it. GG. There we go. We have a Ooh, sideways one well one. Tied up. Now what server do we set this to? I don't know. Technically, it's up to the players, so you can ask them to yeah, uh, pretty much. figure out. Yeah, he's barely saying, able to play. Saying he's barely able to play on that uh, that connection. All right, uh, we'll have the players figure it out. In the meantime, Major Spaniel winning one and zero against Nemesis. What? what? And he's waiting for uh, the uh, the loser of this very match we are casting in the lower bracket. So we have a new appearance in the tournament, making it all the way to the uh, lower bracket finals, at least. Okay, so Cyber Forest will be our next map. Wait, we had Automaton and Port Alexander, right? And then Cyber. I, ju I just want this impromptu podcast that we can't seem to get get going to be over. <laughs> this guy, I want to get the game. Yeah, we got, we got to start the game. Start the game. Stop talking. And welcome run, 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 run. to Yaku and Steel Mode in the morning. Actually, it's not morning. It's actually evening in Singapore. It's not even morning in Israel. It's kind of like way past noon. It's almost afternoon, to be fair. Hi, Yaku. Welcome to the show. If it's not morning, why am I exhausted? Because, <laughs> uh, wait, what? Oh, it's it's Yaku timing. I get it. Sorry, I missed a joke. 
It's, it's, it's quiet. Why is it quiet? Not in my head. Stop! Not in my head. Too loud. Ah, my head. <laughs> It's not the, it's not it's quiet in my loud, head. <laughs> oh my head. <laughs> is that why you're yawning? Because the voices in your head are yawning and then you get infected by them. <laughs> yeah. That would be so annoying to have a voice in your head that's constantly yawning <laughs> and making you yawn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, we're, we're putting yeah. we're putting the audience to sleep. This is the opposite of hype cast. I like it. I'm, well, I'm yeah. into this. Chill cast. I'm Chill into cast. this. Chill cast. cast. Casting uh, ASMR is what we're doing. We're all about the uh, chill here in the Quacky Ducklings. Quack, quack, quack. And so now we see the banelings are moving across the map. Oh my god, this is such a good move. Oh, he's in such a good position. I do not see how he can go in back from this. Yaku, GG! Yaku, 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 Yaku. Yeah. Don't, don't, no, no, not too loudly. You, you, you're messing up the levels. Come on. And so now we see that the banelings are moving across the map. They are about to yeah, head. Oh, that is such a good connection the right yeah, there. Connection. Oh, yeah. GG. Yeah. This is such a good connection. I'm getting the sickest nerd chills tasteless. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for killing everyone's ears right now. That was the the audience. Really, can anybody account for the it? audio equivalent of a bane bust? <laughs> even even EBG is even yawning now. EBG is certainly yawn. Hey, multi smack. <laughs> All right. Action. Lights. Camera. Daijoubu desu ka? Alright, getting the show on the road. Let's go. Daijoubu. I don't actually know what it means, but I heard it in an anime one time, and EBG is putting it in uh, the thing. Tired? Just hold your breath. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, just hold your breath. And then what? You faint? No, like, you don't get tired or something. I don't remember the specifics, but, you know. That doesn't sound like it's working. <gasps> Welcome everyone to Cyber Forest Alley. Alley, of course, stands for um, um, legit enmity. Legit enmity. That's when two people hate each other, like for real. All right, everyone. <laughs> Sorry for my hot head last game. What? No worries, mate. You were like, if you were mad, we couldn't tell. Yeah. So no worries, man. I didn't see anything. You were pretty. You kept it. You kept it to yourself in this yeah. which is commendable. It's very commendable. In the southeast, as chill as ever. Are green? Not not. I said blue, and I said green. No, technically, I'm correct. It's blue and green because. It's yellow. <laughs> Blue green makes, that's technically like, that's correct. Purple. The best kind of correct no, is technically correct. God damn it. Currently, Cyber has won one in this best of three series. Uh, it's actually a semi final. Yep. It is. It's best of yep. three semi final. It is EBG! You could also call it the uh, winner bracket final or the winner bracket uh, semi final. Call it what you will, in the northwest, a red zerg representing Psystorm Team Unity is former SDO champion Multi. I'm starting to get really bad at doing intros, you know? I used to be at least somewhat uh, okay tell. at it, <laughs> but. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> I've. I've <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually getting worse at it over time. 
Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta channel the light of ire. And also in control, impersonating Maynard, impersonating in control, impersonating Red Eye. Which just sounds like local for some reason. <laughs> yep. Yep. We just see the pretty much is an edgy bay block. Yeah, nice. Edgy block. That is what uh, I like. That's not count as edgy bay SUV, first. Though. Does so that count as NG bay first? Uh, no, because it wasn't there first. There was a barracks already. Uh, does it count as NG Bay Rush? Does this count as a 2 on 1 if the uh, one is built after the uh, one, or is it the 1 1 sideways one, and then one? It's a uh, 1 1 into a 2 1. So, 1 minus. It's a 1 1 plus 1. 1. Yep, 1 1 plus. Plus 1 plus 1. 1 1 plus 1 1. No, 1 plus 1 1. No, it's 1 1. We took one barracks, one factory, and then plus one, which is the barracks, and then one, which is the uh, Well, how board. do you... Well, That's how do the you, logic behind how it. How can you tell that it's the barracks and not the factory that you get the plus one on? Because it's plus... If it, if it was a factory, then it's one, two. If it's two factories. Or if it's a... Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I'm see, I, I, I like I, what I'm seeing. Okay, I follow, so I follow. It's, it's one, one, plus one, one. If we get to that point, because that's a lot of really nice uh, that's block a very there nice with, the, point. Uh, with the Hellion, but again, not some of these. Up. Uh, oh! Okay, two Hellions the are going to come out. The wall's closed for you. Uh, so this wall should not fall. The yeah. So remember when Melty said that he likes being aggressive until his opponent falls? Yeah, spoiled. that's a lot of endings, though. Uh, Right. EPG is setting up. EPG backup. is setting up to get ready, but I think it might be a bit yeah, too little, too late. late. Failings are already in. That's uh, a hole in the wall. That's yeah. the, actually still pretty good choke points. Yeah, so the Hellions with the SFV should actually, be able to hold it. Yeah, that's a great hold there for EPG. Still losing Ooh. a lot of workers, but uh, yeah, it it could have ended right here, right now, and it still has a chance. Absolutely does. This supply depot is going to go down. A lot of these SCVs are very, very injured. Yeah. Just breathing on them will kill them pretty much. Yeah, Melty is still leaning on the uh, Zergling pedal. Sending more and yep, more of them across the map. He has four workers left and yeah. one Hellion. 90 minerals. He's going to try to get some Marines or something. Oh! Zergling's getting run time! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Whew. Oh. The, the, for a second, it looked like EPG might be able to uh, to stand his ground there, but that was pretty aggressive by Melty. Yep. And there we have it. This is uh, Melty. Is our first finalist of today, and yep. uh, we are going to see EPG versus uh, Major Spaniel. <laughs> I'm not awake enough for this map. <laughs> One one plus one one. It's very simple. Look, if it's a if it's a barracks factory star starport, it's one one one, right? If it's two barracks, one factory, one starport, it's two one one. And then if it's one barracks, two factory, one starport, it's one two one. Yeah. So if it's one bet racks, one factory, one racks, it's one one plus one. Yeah. But then no, but then plus one can indicate that you're getting an upgrade though. No. No, no, it's plus one. Not yeah, plus, plus one. one. Weapons. No, no, no. Then you then you say uh, weapon upgrade or plus one weapons plus one armor plus one this. You tend to say plus one. Other people just say plus one. Yeah, but they say plus one something. It's just, it doesn't come with a. It, it, it's not. It doesn't come in the same segment, in the same sentence. It, it's not the same context of plus one. I'm going to bed. <laughs>